In August 2021, a video showing a Black Hawk moving around the Kandahar airport went viral. The helicopter now belonged to the Taliban. After the abrupt withdrawal of US and NATO forces from Afghanistan in mid-2021, a lot of costly equipment was left behind. From M4 rifles and M249 machine guns to Humvees and Black Hawk helicopters, the Taliban seized it all. The regime quickly took to the media to show off its new acquisitions, but military experts quickly pointed out that to actually use them required a separate skill set. Still, the video showed someone trying to fly a Black Hawk, but the helicopter never got off the ground, or at least before the footage ended. And although it's not clear that the pilot was Taliban, there's speculation that they may be training pilots among their ranks, especially after more footage surfaced of a Black Hawk in the air. If that is true, the Taliban will pose a more significant threat in the escalating global conflict than initially expected. The Withdrawal On February 3, 2021, the Afghanistan Study Group, created by the U.S. Congress to make policy recommendations for a peaceful transition in Afghanistan, issued a report about the agreement with the Taliban. It read, quote, The most important revision is to ensure that a complete withdrawal of U.S. troops is based not on an inflexible timeline, but on all parties fulfilling their commitments, including the Taliban making good on its promises to contain terrorist groups and reduce violence against the Afghan people, and making compromises to achieve a political settlement. From there on, things quickly went downward, and violence and paranoia escalated in Afghanistan as the Americans and NATO forces began to leave the country at a steady rate. Weeks later, on March 25th, President Joe Biden said, quote, If we leave, we're going to do so in a safe and orderly way. It is time to end the forever war. Although the May 1st deadline was impossible to meet, the president assured that no American would be left in Afghanistan by September 11th. Biden assured that the U.S. had, quote, trained and equipped a standing force of over 300,000 Afghan personnel, and they will continue to fight valiantly on behalf of the Afghans at great cost. Despite the apparent effort to organize a massive retreat, chaos quickly consumed the entire region. As more provinces began to fall under Taliban control, thousands of civilians fled to the country's capital to seek refuge with the American and NATO forces. The commander of the 82nd Airborne Division, Chris Donahue, was the last American soldier to step off Afghan soil aboard a C-17 Globemaster III that left Kabul airport on August 31st. Twenty years of U.S. and NATO presence going back to the 9-11 attacks had ended in utter failure. A cruel and despotic regime was back, and the hopes for democracy and a free society quickly vanished. Left Behind The U.S. military left behind tens of millions of dollars worth of armored vehicles, aircraft, defensive systems, weapons, and more in a rush to leave Kabul before the deadline. All this valuable equipment was given to the Afghan army to prepare for combat against the enemy. But with resistance at a minimum, it was all taken by the Taliban when they took control of the country. According to reports, the Taliban seized over 600,000 assault rifles, including M16s and M4s with precision attachments, 2,000 armored vehicles like Humvees, 40 aircraft, and even state-of-the-art UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters. Furthermore, the U.S. also equipped the Afghan army with over 16,000 night vision goggles and 160,000 pieces of high-tech communication equipment. Based on a report from the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, or SIGAR, between 2017 and 2019, the U.S. supplied over 7,000 high-caliber machine guns, 20,000 hand grenades, 1,400 grenade launchers, 2,500 bombs, and 47 Humvees to the Afghan army. U.S. Marine General Kenneth McKenzie, the head of U.S. Central Command, said that many of the weapons and armored vehicles left behind were demilitarized or rendered useless. Quote, Those aircraft will never fly again. They'll never be able to be operated by anyone. However, the Taliban would undoubtedly use most of the assets left to the Afghan army to ensure order in the city. Still, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan stated, quote, The White House does not have a complete picture of what has fallen into the hands of the Taliban. Operating Enemy Equipment
Mere days after the U.S. left Afghanistan for good, videos of delighted Taliban fighters opening crates of American weaponry shocked the world after they went viral on several social networks. The Taliban were quick to use propaganda to display their new acquisitions. Improvised military parades with all the captured goods impressed the world upon realizing the magnitude of armament that the U.S. gave to the already non-existent Afghan army. Other leaked videos showed the Taliban warriors arming themselves with U.S. M16s, helmets, night vision goggles, body armor, camouflage uniforms, and other military essentials. Footage of Taliban entering hangars and inspecting dozens of Blackhawks and other scout attack helicopters also became an alarming sight, especially if the new regime could operate such an arsenal. Still, military intelligence pointed out that despite the loss of all these billion-dollar equipments, it is one thing to possess the aircraft and vehicles, and another to know how to operate and maintain them. However, the tension with Afghanistan's neighbors has only risen. Indian military intelligence has discovered that terror groups in the Kashmir Valley have acquired American M4s and launchers from Afghanistan, and the Indian defense has said that many more arms and ammunition will fall into the hands of terror groups operating from Pakistan. India believes that these weapons and explosives are being delivered to terrorist groups with the help of drones. On August 31st, 2021, another video surprised the world as it showed the Taliban flying a U.S. Black Hawk helicopter over the skies of Afghanistan. The Talib Times published the video on the official English-language account of Afghanistan's Taliban Islamic Emirate state. The tweet said, quote, At this time, the Islamic Emirates Air Force helicopters are flying over Kandahar city and patrolling the city. A man is seen hanging from the helicopter in the clip as it hovers over the background. Apparently, the operator was fixing a Taliban flag at the top of a building in Kandahar. Other videos published earlier showed the Taliban struggling to make several flight attempts, only taxiing the aircraft through the Kandahar airport runway in South Afghanistan. Russia's state-affiliated media, Russia Today, posted the video on Twitter and said, quote, Does anyone know if there's an idiot's guide to flying a Blackhawk? If you've got a copy, the Taliban needs you. It is not clear if the men who have flown the Blackhawks are trained Taliban pilots. There could be foreign contractors from other countries, but no more details have been revealed. Other sources have reported that the Taliban seized one A-29 Super Tucano aircraft, an Mi-35 Hind attack helicopter, a 530F chopper, and two Mi-17 helicopters. No footage of these aircraft being flown by the Taliban has been leaked as of today. Then, on January 12, 2022, the Taliban warned Uzbekistan and Tajikistan to immediately return Afghan aircraft flown by Afghan army personnel to the neighboring states. As more than 100 Afghan Air Force pilots trained by the U.S. flew to safety in Uzbekistan and Tajikistan aboard more than 60 aircraft. The Taliban's defense minister, Mullah Yaqub, said, quote, We may relatively be weaker than those of our neighbor country, but we are not cowardly and will take into account every single spare part of our planes and helicopters. I ask them respectfully to return our planes and helicopters and not question our patience any further and not to force us to take all possible retaliatory steps. The U.S. government says that there are no plans of giving them back to the Taliban. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the American equipment taken by the new Taliban regime. Does it pose an international threat?